Hello, everyone. Today is Tuesday, September 11th. It's 3.23 uh, p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can see my computer clock on my right and on my left at the time in sales, uh, the E-mini S&P trading at 28.89.50. And it was a super fantastic day for the auto trader. Um, I have a, a special guest. I have a client that uh, we did an interview who purchased the auto trader uh, recently, and we have a live trade to show you. So I'm going to bring that up now. OK. Uh, Hello, everybody. Um, today we have uh, a special guest with us. Uh, it's a client of mine. His name is Roland. And uh, Roland uh, purchased the Auto Trader uh, about a month ago. And um, on the screen, we, we have a live trade. And, and you can see that the uh, configuration panel is yellow. And that signifies that we're trading live. In simulation, the border on the config panel is red. So I'm going to uh, let Roland say a few words. Um, Roland, how did you uh, come to uh, learn about Blue Wave Trading? What what attracted you to the auto trader? Um, well, I had built a uh, an algo. I had an algo built for me about a year ago, and um, you know, mid year this year, you know, it was it was a uh, the markets were weren't were ranging bound, but my algo was was a, a trending algo. But I've been watching. I've been watching you for about a year. You know, I, I researched some algo um, algorithms on YouTube and uh, came across uh, Blue Wave Trading, and I've been following your videos uh, for a year. And you know, about a month ago, I took the plunge um, because what I saw was that you know your algo was very, very versatile, and that you could trade multiple markets. And um, you know, what I saw is uh, you know it just gave you an opportunity to be successful. Okay, great. Thanks for that. Let me ask you, how did you come up with your settings on this chart that we're looking at? Well, the, the beautiful thing about the, the auto trader is that you, it provides you various parameters where you can conform them to your, your personality. So because, you're, because the, out, the, the auto trader has various concepts similar to mine, I just kind of applied some of my uh, trading rules um, to the auto trader, and then I just kind of tweaked things to uh, to my liking. Did you find it difficult to uh, come come up with these settings? Uh, not at all. I mean, the uh, you know the auto trader is very visual, and then you give a lot of uh, notations um, for each uh, parameter to to adjust to various likings. So I, I found it very very user friendly. Awesome, awesome. So today's trade on this chart here, it looks like we did a little over a thousand in profit. I think this window is going to close here in just a minute, and you can see the position just closed uh, just now. And so here the window closed, and we got uh, thirteen twenty-five in profit. So, so tell me a little bit about uh, what your idea was when making these settings. Well. Um... You know, with the auto trader, you know, I was able to do some some back testing, and um, you know, obviously, you you have to, uh, you know, you also have to incorporate forward testing too. But I was pretty confident with the, the amount of time that I spent doing some back testing that started the auto trader at nine o'clock. But from nine to nine thirty, I would my equity curve was in the negative. So what I did was I just bumped it to. Uh, 930 you know the markets open today down and uh, I had a loss but then you know the auto trader came right back and roared uh, my first my second trade was uh, about eight hundred dollars and um, um, right before I left to go to work I was in a trade and um, I guess you just informed me that it, it closed uh, on the plus side so and so one last thing Roland um, how have you found uh, the support of blue wave trading I mean, you, you've been you've been great. You know, I, I think it helps it helps me that I, I have some familiarity with multiple platforms. But you know, you've been available when I need it. You know, I, I think the initial uh, obstacle was just getting it, it loaded, and because we're we, we, we're on different time time zones. I mean, I think that was that was a challenge. But once we figured out a time, you know, it, it's it's been smooth sailing s since then. 
Okay, I think that about covers it. Thanks for uh, sitting in with us today, and congratulations on today's trade. That was a fantastic trade. Thank you so much, Randy. Okay, thank you, Roland, for sharing this with us. Just want to remind everyone that this chart that we're showing right here was uh, real money in a real account in Roland's real trading account with the auto trader. And if you look carefully at the executions, you can see our limit orders were filled. Our exits and trades were uh, taken flawlessly, uh, no overfills, no issues, and the trade exited automatically. Roland was at work when uh, this trade actually executed. Uh, not that I would always recommend that you leave the auto trader unattended, but it is possible. In any case, uh, proof that uh, the auto trader uh, can and does work and that you know we have uh, people using it and the only difference between the winners and the losers is uh, understanding and spending some time honing your settings. Okay first up is the DAX on a Superenco 16 tick and uh, this has a $3,500 goal and a $1,700 loss limit so this is pretty much a two to one uh, money management scheme here and obviously this had more to go this is about as good as it gets catching this short trade here hit its first tro uh, profit target and then exited the trade here so really impressive performance here today was just fantastic in the auto trader many charts hit their goals really strong performance on the auto trader today today uh, yesterday I couldn't make a video because uh, ninja trader uh, had an update. So we are now on uh, version uh, 10.1000.39 uh, and that changed from 0.38 and the update had something to do with futures contract rollovers and resetting your database. So I wasn't, I didn't get data yesterday. Everything was running but no data. So I missed yesterday's video. Uh, today there is a hurricane uh, or tropical storm uh, approaching uh, where I live. And so here is the map. And that's why I had to cancel the uh, webinar or, or postpone it. I moved it ahead a week. So I'm just going to play the loop here. This is was Hurricane Olivia, now Tropical Storm Olivia. And as you can see, it's uh, approaching Maui where I live. Uh, let me just play that over again. So this is where I am here, and you can see the storm is forecast to pass right over us. Uh, we're probably going to get uh, 60 to 70 mile an hour winds and a lot of rain. So that's why I postponed the webinar. And I will put a link to the new webinar in the uh, video instructions. Okay, next up is the NASDAQ on a 1597 Heiken Ashi chart. And you can see we had a couple of trades here, and we had a loser at the end. It looks like our equity high was about 1300 and we're currently short. And this has an open P&L of 1080. Almost every chart I followed today was on fire. Really great signals on the indicator. This is a, a 233 Heiken Ashi chart, and this chart also very quickly hit its goal with m uh, more than twice as much. So if you had really loose targets on this, it could have went a long way. But remember our discussion on daily goals. Uh, you don't want to get too greedy. In any case, this hit its goal at 2,500 or 2,550, whatever it is, 2,550, and had a couple ticks slippage. But this move went quite the distance and just fantastic signal on the indicator. Okay, the DAX on a 150 Heiken Ashi tick chart. Uh, again, here's this big move to the downside. Uh, this traded it differently here. Uh, it did 1,200 on this first trade, then had a loser and another loser here, and that dragged us down to only about plus 200, and then we begin to came back. This winner here brought us back to uh, 1,600, and then finally, uh, these two trades here brought us to 2,637, and our goal on this one is uh, 2550 so we had a really excellent positive slippage on this chart 
This 150 tick hike in Ashy uh, has been a very good time frame for us. We've seen it quite a bit. Okay, the Superenco uh, 14 tick in the DAX uh, has tighter stops, so this got stopped out at this first pullback. And uh, I have considered changing this a little bit, but nevertheless, it hit its goal and had positive slippage. Uh, it did about 1,500 on this first trade and then hit its goal here. Okay, the E mini S&P on a 987 tick line break chart. Started off a little rough here, but only drew down about 200 per contract, and then came back with the number of winners here and did 1262 for the day. Our goal on this is 1300, so we hit our goal and had some slippage. But really nice looking swings on a line break chart. Okay, we're in an open position in the uh, E mini SP Super Anko 4 tick with a 6 tick higher time frame filter, and this uh, drew down about 150 per contract, no big deal, and then uh, came back. So we got an open PL of 575, and it's currently short. And the goal on this one is 1,050, so it would have to be a pretty steep sell off here. This is only two contracts to uh, hit its goal, but still uh, nice performance on this chart. Okay, the crude on a 987 tick chart had a small drawdown here, about 125 per contract or less. It's, this is actually trading three contracts, so really only about uh, $80 per contract, perhaps. And then came back up and uh, hit its goal of $1,300 and had some slippage here. This is also using our line break logic. And you can see our line break signal here confirming the trend and a really nice uh, long position here. Okay, the E-mini S&P on a uh, 1597 Hike and Ashy chart. Using our line break logic, uh, had a small winner here and then went sideways for most of the session and then came up with this trade here and hit our goal of 1300. Now this one uh, used to start trading at the London session, but I changed it to the U.S. session, and so far that turned out to be a good move. Okay, the DAX on a Superenco 14 tick, and this one has the $3,500 goal, and it looks like what happened here, this came up and did about 2200 equity high here, and then gave it all back, drew down a thousand, and then came back from that deficit to finish at 1362.50. So a uh, pretty wild ride on the DAX here. Okay, the crude oil on a Superenco 8 tick with our line break logic had two trades here and did 720 for the day on two contracts. Okay, the DAX on a 377 hike in Ashy chart. Uh, hit its goal. This one only has a goal of 1500, 1550. So this hit its goal with no slippage. And obviously, I have uh, fairly tight money management on this. And that's okay. Uh, just about all the charts on the DAX uh, hit their goals today. Okay, the NASDAQ on a Precision Renko 16150 chart had uh, two trades here and did 1200 for the day. And this, uh, our goal on this is a thousand. So, this had uh, extreme slippage here off the open on this spike in the market. Obviously, the Nasdaq on a regular 20 Renko chart, just regular Renko bars, had two winners and one loser. And the goal on this one is uh, 2050. So, about halfway to its goal, but still a really solid performance. The E mini S&P on a Super Anko 6 tick hit its goal of 1,000 on three contracts. So that's uh, $335 a contract. And uh, had some slippage did and closed at 970. The NASDAQ on a 987 Heiken Ashi chart had a single long trade and did 1,075. 
and our goal on this is 1,000, so a couple of ticks positive slippage and really excellent signals on the indicators. Okay, the DAX on a 150 line break chart had an up, down, up equity curve and finished at 1525. Our goal on this is probably 1500. So a couple of ticks positive slippage. Okay, last but not least, the crude oil on the Precision Renko 8 150 had the exact same trade as the Super Renko 8 on the crude and did 720 for the day on two contracts. That's all for today's video. Don't forget our webinar was postponed till Wednesday the 19th, which is here, and I will put the link to register for the webinar in the video description. Thanks for watching uh, today.